Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I have a deadbeat review and it's my first one and it's going to be on the Zoom Q8 handy video recorder and it just so happens to be the device that you are seeing and hearing me through. Some of today's topics that we're going to go over is going to be of course price because that's very important to know. Um, I'm going to go over some of the visual key features of the Zoom Q8. I'll go over some pros, of course cons, and then I'll wrap it up with overall how I feel about the unit because I have done a few recordings. Um, if you saw my deadbeat drum lesson number four, which was how to save money on drumsticks, um, I used it there. And if you saw my last drum cover, which was uh, the Rammstein drum cover, um, you can get a sample of what it sounds like there as well. Um, if you are in the US, I apologize. Unfortunately, you cannot view that in the USA, but if you are out of the States, you can definitely see my Rammstein cover and hear for yourself. But before we get into that, please do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss my next upload. Here's the Zoom Q8 handy video recorder. When you first see it, if you notice, it's pretty compact. Here's your record button. These are your uh, condenser mics. You press right here. That's how you set it up. Have your screen. It does flip. Lens protector. If you notice, you can probably see it right there. It is a 160 degree wide lens. And I'm just showing you just the visual functions here. Here's where your battery goes. Struggling here. There you go. Press that down. You can get to your battery. If you're wondering what this knob is, that is your uh, mic gain adjustment knob. If you're wondering what these knobs are, those are your input volume one and two. And when you click on these, let me turn it on real quick actually. Notice that the little LED light that indicates that they are on. Now, if you wanted to fine adjust these, um, I'll show you here in a second. There's a built-in mixer in here and you can adjust accordingly. And of course, if you turn off the inputs on channel one and two, the uh, L and R is actually for your condenser mics. It's for these guys right here. And that allows you to adjust your XY condenser mics from that point right there. And that's what the LR is. Those are for your XY condenser mics, overhead mics. And then one and two, of course, allows you to fine tune those channels as well you have your play button power button your speaker right there when you want to play back what you recorded once you raise up your condenser mics you'll have access to your input jacks um, this takes XLR and it takes quarter inch jack as well you have your headphone jack, um, probably can't see it, there's a little um, charging LED there to let you know um, when it's charging and fully charged, um, USB port, um, and this is your HDMI port, when you turn it on, it is touch screen, have your zoom options, record, 
click on that. It's your built-in mixer. This first row right here is for your overheads. So you can fine dial that in. Then you have your input one, input two. And you actually have your option for phantom power if you are running a mic that needs to be phantom powered. So you do have that option there. That's also very nice about the Zoom Q8. You have your settings and that's really nice. So let me show you real quick. First option is you're gonna have your audio and your visuals all in one file. Second option is if you want to have your audio and your visual separate. Stereo is if you just want to record audio. And then the last option is if you want to have a channel for all the inputs that you are recording with. Go to video, you can choose the quality a video that you would like as well as audio <laughs> believe that's your volume your uh, playback volume and since I haven't recorded anything right now that would be your folder to see you know your previous work the zoom q8 also comes with some accessories of course um, you have your sun uh, protector slash sun blocker you have um, like a GoPro mount and I do believe you can uh, clamp this onto a microphone stand um, like if you want to get those overhead shots of like your drum set have your uh, pop wind reduction foam filter there and of course USB charging cable all right so you're probably wondering how much the Zim Q8 costs um, right now on Amazon it's 349 95 plus tax um, which is very reasonable if you ask me um, for 349 I'd say it's very reasonable for the quality of sound and and visual quality that you're gonna get from the Zoom Q8. On that being said, let's go over uh, the pros and let's go over some of the cons. You are getting a compact video recorder that has high quality uh, condenser mics. Um, you have 160 degree widescreen. Um, it is compatible to just plug up and get ready to um, pretty much use it's it's user friendly for any desktop computer you can actually record up to four separate channels onto it so for instance if you wanted to record your snare bass drum granted I have a big kit but if you had like a three-piece kit which is bass snare and one floor tom guess what you you can record that and with the fourth channel that's your overheads so you can record an acoustic drum set um, in that kind of setting. This also powers phantom power. Um, I use the Audix F90 for my snare, and you actually need phantom power to make that microphone work. And the Zoom Q8 has all that already built into it. If you're a drummer that uses triggers, and if you use two bass drums it, it, it really doesn't matter if you use single or double bass but if you're using triggers you can plug it up to the zoom q8 and it's gonna sound great most importantly it's really easy to use right out of the box um, the stock settings that they were in um, you honestly could have just put it on a stand and hit record and it would have been a decent recording actually one thing I noticed this unit the Zoom Q8 doesn't take still photos. The Zoom Q8 does not charge while you're recording. So the moment you hit the record button, unfortunately that battery starts starts declining. Um, so um, 
that's that's a small con right there. However, I did find a hack it seems. If you have one of these little uh what do you call these things again? I forget. <laughs> Just one of these battery backup saver things. Oddly enough, if you plug one of these into it, it charges while you're recording. That's how you can get around to that. So on one of the reviews I came across, um, one of the folks there said if you get one of these little, uh, I guess, external chargers, I don't know how you call this. Please tell me down below. I'm having a brain fart here. Um, but yeah, you plug this up to it, charge it, it record. It, it's charging still while you're recording. So that's the hack that I found. One thing um, that I did notice, now this is just me personally, um, only because I'm kind of paranoid like that, but the screen, when you finally open it up and, and, and flip it, I feel like for the user that might be a little harsh or brute or whatever, if you're not careful with that screen, it is a little bit delicate, I feel like in my hands. That's just one thing I noticed. Um, it'd probably be in your best interest to maybe hook up the strap, which I will do later. Um, because I feel like if you had that screen open and you dropped it, I feel like the first thing that's going to go is that flip screen. It is not waterproof. Not that I plan on recording anything underwater. But if I could put my drum set underwater and record, that'd be pretty cool. And just another small thing that I feel could have came with the accessories package would have been a tripod. Um, doesn't matter, a small one, it didn't have to be like the big ones, but I feel like a small tripod just to hold the camera up would, would have been nice. Which brings me to uh, my final thoughts on the Zoom Q8. I really do like this device a lot. Um, the price is very reasonable for the quality that you are getting the beginner or advanced uh, vlogger that's uh, starting or already has the experience, um, the outdoorsy kind of person that uh, wants to uh, record nature um, and also get some sick visuals of landscape and all that. And speaking of musicians, it's not just tailored to drummers or guitarists, bassists. If you play uh, woodwind, brass, any kind of instrument, the Zoom Q8 can get the job done. And another, um, I guess this could could have gone in the pro section, but if you are a venue and you're looking for maybe a camera to record uh, some of these live bands, man, I really miss playing live. Um, the Zoom Q8, I feel like would be perfect because it's small, great quality, like I've said before, and, and yeah, get you three, four of these cams, put them around, um, you know, around the venue, top-notch quality recordings. So yeah, I am very happy so far with the Zoom Q8. Um, the videos that you will see here in the future will more than likely 99% of the time be the Zoom Q8. So if, like I said, if you're on the fence on it, stick around. I do plan on uh, making some how-to videos on the Zoom Q8. And if you are thinking about buying the Zoom Q8 handy video recorder, I'm actually going to put a link in the description down below, so don't forget to check that out. That's going to conclude this review for the Zoom Q8, guys. I definitely appreciate you checking it out. Please like, comment if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, subscribe. Uh, that way you don't miss my next upload. I'll see you in the next video.